Hi, you're welcome to another episode of Safety Moment with Waliola. Going viral is the death of a student of Obafemi Aulo University, OAU, Ajibola Heritage, who accidentally fell into a soccerway in one of the external hostels. While we are growing up, there we hear of these stories of children falling into soccerways near schools at home and it's high time that we discuss about this because i'm very sure you have a soccer way in your house let's put that aside this is 21st century a hostel that collects a huge amount of money from students as we know it should have a basic facility that puts safety first for every student that stays in their hostels that is not the story for today I'll be talking about this event in two ways. The first one is the fact that I think it's high time that school management will create committees that will be after the welfare of students that stay outside the school. What do I mean? Part of what they should do is to check and inspect hostels be, being occupied by their students. We might argue that this might lead to increment in price as we know in Nigeria system, but I think it's a good way to ensure that the safety of their students is paramount. Because when some things like this happen, they are also being dragged along. It is very important for them to inspect all the hostels. These hostels collect a huge amount of money to check on the facility for the safety of their students and to make sure that hostels are registered and they are certified to be safe for habitation. Then let's come down to we that we are not in the hostel, we that we are living around. Most of us that we have cars, we park cars on our soccer ways with the mindset that they are strong enough. What is the assurance? How strong is your soccer way in your home? How often do you see your kids play around the soccer ways? How often do you send them away from there? So many things are attached to soccer ways, and I think that's another discussion for another day because we have poorly built poorly constructed soccer ways in most parts of the country in Nigeria and we think that they are good enough because you see it concreted doesn't mean that the concrete is strong enough there are so many inspections that you can carry out to know how strong your soccer way is kindly contact a civil engineer to assist in doing this but on it all we advise that you do not park your cars on soccer ways because the more unless your soccer way has been built the base has been built to withstand the weight of a car multiple times like four times weight of your car then or three times even three times is fine you can actually park your car on your soccer ways and it must always be sure that at a regular base on a regular base that your soccer ways is fit for use for that purpose notwithstanding Avoid your, stu- your your kids playing around soccer ways. Avoid your visitors staying on soccer ways. Don't put chairs on soccer ways and relax and say you are sitting down and relaxing unless it is satisfied strong enough. I think this discussion for today is worth discussing. Remember, it is a safety moment with Aliola. Remember to share this video. Remember to like and drop your comments. Give us the next topic to talk about when it comes to home safety and we will sure to deliver it. Remember, this is brought to you by Codal Safety Consult. For all your safety needs, contact us at every point in time.